Have you heard about MindTap for economics? Have you heard that it provides tools students need to better manage their limited time, allowing them to complete assignments whenever and wherever they are ready to learn? That it engages students with course material specially customized for them by their instructor and streamlined in one proven, easy to use interface. And that it houses an array of tools and apps from note taking to flashcards that make MindTap a worthwhile and valuable investment in their education. At the beginning, MindTap was pretty easy to use, and I think it still is easy to use, and it didn't take long to get the hang of it. In the beginning, I was very hesitant about reading online. When I like leisurely reading, I would rather have a book in my hand, like I'd be like to be able to hold it or like highlight in it. But reading online with a MindTap textbook. It seemed shorter than a normal textbook. I don't know if it's just the format that it's like one long page you scroll, but it seemed shorter and like easier to get through than an actual textbook. So I definitely liked that part of it, which I didn't think I would. This feature cultivates a true understanding of course concepts, helping students achieve better grades today and setting the groundwork for future economics courses. I have not used anything like it before MindTap. It, it's been cool because in class we do the basic stuff on the board. Um, the professor shows us the graphs, we write it down in our notes, and we see it. And if we have to move the lines, we draw arrows to show the change in, in the supply or demand. It reinforces everything when I'm able to do that by myself on a computer. I'm able to see all the different scenarios that could happen, whether it's changing supply or demand either direction, so it's really cool to be able to see what would happen if I shifted this line this way or this line the other way. Usually when I'm building the graphs, kind of like I reference the question again and then I like the type tool is nice and then you can move everything around. So it's nice, it's easy to use. Have you heard what students find useful when studying for exams? The test prep definitely is an important resource for me and I use it as I'm preparing for each test. I also use on my tap the like interactive test prep one where you can like choose which chapters to use. And I like that because since the actual exam is on my tap as well, it's very similar, which like you get a feel for what the exam is gonna be like, what like the wording of the questions, because sometimes the wording can be even more difficult than the actual question. From note taking to flashcards, make MindTap a worthwhile and valuable investment in their education. I was always open to MindTap. It's actually helped me like a lot learning in the class to take like what I've learned and then apply it. Yeah, it definitely has helped me in the course just because there's definitely that constant reaffirming that you know the information and like re-explaining it in a few different ways. So it's definitely made it easier and I really do like the aspect of you know why you got something wrong, not just that you got it wrong. Better yet, these students would recommend MindTap to their friends. It's just easier to use and everything's kind of there for you. So I just really liked it. Some of my friends were to use MindTap next semester. I definitely would recommend that they use all the resources on MindTap because in the long run, it's gonna help them so much. Now that you've heard from the students, take a look at MindTap for economics for yourself.